Oh shit, it's recording. Not ready. And guess who's in the litter box? My fucking cat. Oh girl, it's hot. We're gonna keep this here. In my new beautiful like illuminated shelves. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it and that's all that matters. <laughs> Let's get started. my channel when you read where I talk about books and things and before we get started with this video I want to address two things number one you're gonna hear my fan I hope it's not really bad for the audio if it is I'm so sorry but there is just absolutely no way that in this 40 degree Celsius heat I'm not gonna do the conversion but it's around 101 or 102 degrees uh, Fahrenheit uh, I'm not gonna use my fan so I'm really sorry about that and the other thing that I want to address is that I want to dedicate this video to the memory of my uncle Fabian he died um, very recently I know that I was gonna do some travel vlogs and stuff but I got the news that he passed away during said travels and I just didn't feel comfortable putting that out on the internet but I do want to dedicate this video to him because he was a happy person such a happy person he was always laughing he always had a beer in his hand he always wanted to go to the beach and just have a good time and he didn't really understand me any very well with the reading and stuff just like the rest of my family and even so he still gave me a book every year for my birthday so this one goes out to him and with that said let's get into the video so I took a thumbnail and I didn't drop any books and I'm really excited I picked these books up um, and I'm gonna be honest with you the reading slump is real I haven't read a single physical book in over a month get that okay everything I have read has been audiobook format because I just can't sit and read in this heat also you know with everything going on with my family I just kind of don't have the energy to do it but I'm gonna try my best this month because like I said um, I'm trying to live the life that my uncle would want me to live and he wouldn't want me to give up my hobbies or my dreams or whatever because of his passing on the contrary he would be like why aren't you reading don't isn't that what you do so that's what I'm gonna do or at least I'm gonna try to do so let's get into the books that I plan to read in August I'm not saying that I am gonna read them in August, but that I plan to. The first book that I have here is a book that I'm gonna use to participate in the nonfiction readathon, which is crazy because I never participate in readathons, but this one is really simple. It's the last two weeks of August, and it's just read a nonfiction book. And I picked The Five, The Untold Lives of the Women Killed by Jack the Ripper by Haley Rubenhold. Now, I've been talking so much about this book and I've been talking about how I want to read it. And I thought that this readathon was a great, like, big moment for me to read it. Like, girl, it's calling to you. So, um, one of the things that I didn't know about this book is that we have basically accepted that all of the women killed by Jack the Ripper were prostitutes when really that might not be the case and that is just another way of like you know history being like fuck women so <laughs> so this is the book that i plan on picking up the last two weeks of august and i'm hoping to read it in physical form because i love reading nonfiction in physical form so this is the first book the second book that i want to talk about a little bit and that i plan to read on, in physical form is monsoon mansion a, mo a memoir by Chanel or Chanel, I'm not, I'm sorry, I, if, if it's Chanel or Chanel uh, Barnes. This is the story of um, a girl who's barely three years old when her family moves into a mansion royale, a stately 10 bedroom home in the Philippines. And then basically, because of political issues, they have to move away and she starts to live a life of poverty. And honestly this is such an interesting story and it kind of mimics my own i i don't, I don't want to go too much into my upbringing but i was very fortunate in venezuela and then you know when the political issues started i had to migrate and it's been um a, a struggle but a good one obviously i I'm, I'm clearly a very privileged person but yeah i'm so excited to read this also cover i mean come on now this is non-fiction by the way and i'm i i love I love nonfiction. <laughs> I love nonfiction. So, and I love that this is written by a person of color. So that just really makes me so excited to get to it. And I don't know. I, I just this is kind of something that. 
that I want to pick up right now, but, but, I have to pick something else up and I'm going to show it to you right now. Jesse from A Bookish Mom. Jesse, I always butcher your channel name. It'll be up here. Uh, but Jesse and I mistakenly kind of read um, the fifth season together. And then I, I, I am her and I was like, I am yes. I am that old. I DM'd her and I was like, Jesse, can we read the next books together? And she was like, yeah, girl. And I was like, mm hmm. So today I'm picking up The Obelisk Gate by N.K. Jemison. Uh, this is the continuation to the fifth season. You'll see all my thoughts about the fifth season in my um, July wrap up. And uh, <laughs> I'm picking up the next book right away, guys. So you gotta know that I liked it. But yeah, uh, I'm super excited about this one. Um, I do have the audio for it, so I might read this in audio, like audio and physical at the same time. But I can't, I can't imagine like something more perfect than what I've already read. So like, and they tell me that this series keeps getting better and better. So what? <laughs> I'm really excited to read this. This is the continuation of the fifth season. Basically, in the fifth season, we have. A fifth season where it's basically where the world ends and the world has grown used to this happening so like there are communities dedicated to protecting people and stuff like that and there are also these people that I can't pronounce the name of but that they control um, the earth movement and it's just really good NK Jemison is amazing and I'm really excited to get to the continuation and in that vein I plan to finish this series this month because I'm in like this binging series mode because when I don't binge a series and I have it open I feel like I'm missing something so I'm also reading The Stone Sky by NK Jemison, which is the third book in the Broken Earth trilogy so I would be done with this series and I'm really excited for it because I don't know there's just something about finishing series that makes me feel really good so there you go the next books that I have these are like the ones that I definitely want to get to but the ones that I have here are kind of like I want to get to you but if I don't it's okay because the reading slump is real so the first one I have here is Daphne du Maurier's Jamaica Inn I thought would be a great book for now that it's really hot outside <laughs> I don't know I think of Jamaica I think of heat so there you go that Monica is the best book reviewer in this platform Jamaica heat there you go <laughs> but anyway um I have no idea what this is about I'm guessing it's a mystery my cat is in the litter box again it's the third time since I started filming She's done. As I was saying, I have no idea what this is about. I'm guessing it's going to be a murder mystery kind of thing because, you know, it's got little crossbones, a skull's crossbones. It's Daphne du Maurier. We're gonna, we're gonna try to read this one. <laughs> That's all I gotta say about that. Next up, a book that I am really, really, really excited about, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna get to because I might be a little bit emotional over it. And that is El Coronel No Tiene Quien Escriba or No One Writes the Cornell to the colonel. Colonel? Is that how you say that? That sounds like colonel, like like the, the whatever. You know what I mean. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll insert the English title here by um, Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Now, the reason I wanna read this is because I've been missing home a lot and with everything going on, I miss my family. And I think that this book really depicts Venezuelan life. I know this is the this is this is not about Venezuela. This is about Colombia, but uh, my family is Colombian, so it just really depicts what it's like living in South America. And like I know these characters in a way. Like I know about them. I've seen them. Like my grandpa is t totally like the the colonel in this story. So uh, I remember my one of my best friends and I were talking about he's having this breakfast and he describes the breakfast and we were both like in tears like oh my god I remember going to like a bakery and having that exact same breakfast so I'm really excited to read it I love Gabriel Garcia Marquez and this is a really short novel so but we'll see we'll see how my emotions are about it and if I do get to it so again this is a tentative TBR uh, because mood reader <laughs> okay next up um, I'm seeing a lack of sci-fi 
and baby we don't like a like a lack of sci-fi in this channel like my whole thing is sci-fi so i'm gonna pick up the weight of the stars by k and crumb now i'm really really excited to read this this is apparently a story about a girl who has always wanted to go into space because her mom went to space but basically for some reason she can't and she has to team up with another girl who is like monitoring messages that come from space this is this might not even be the synopsis i might be making this up but i do know that this is a slow burn sci uh, sapphic romance in a in a soft sci-fi so i wanted to pick up some sci-fi because i haven't like in, in the i know that that the broken earth trilogy is technically sci-fi dystopian fantasy so but i really wanted a sci-fi book so this one it is and i'm really really i'm like super excited for this tbr i haven't been this excited for a tbr in a long time next up i have three books that again are kind of tentative and i might not get to them but they're kind of there like in my mind when you see my shelf tour you'll see that i actually have like a tbr shelf where it's like where i pull books for the month so the first one i have is to kill kingdom i've put this in so many tbrs and i just never read it and i really want to read about the mermaids man but this is like a fantasy little mermaid retelling with pirates and like the pirate king and um having to kill enemies to lover situation you know what it just sounds like a mind-numbingly good time and sometimes you fucking need a mind-numbing good time so this is not my numbing good time and I'm actually excited to read this but I'm not sure when I'm gonna get to it and that is Akata Witch by Nettie Okorafor this is about an albino Nigerian girl that lives in the United States thank you darling I forgot a book let's continue with this one this is about an albino Nigerian girl that lives in the United States and she's very sporty she always likes to go out play you know football and stuff but due to her skin condition she can't do that very much but then she finds out she's got magical powers and this is kind of middle grade into YA-ish so I'm really excited because I haven't read middle grade in a while and um Nigerian albino girl with powers yes like come on now all right then I have a um, new edition. I know that I'm on a book buying ban, but this was kindly gifted to me by my husband because I was having a bad day. Like he is totally an enabler. We have to like have an intervention for both, the both of us. But I've got Girl Boy C by Chris Vick. Now this is kind of like a Life of Pi story. It's about this boy. Bill is lost and alone on an endless sea after Storm sinks his yacht. His future seems as unpredictable as the ocean itself. Everything changes when he rescues another survivor from a different wreck. She is Aya from the nomadic Berber tribe. As hope of rescue fades, Aya tells the ma of magic inspired by Sherzad who wove 1001 stories to save her life. In the grip of hunger at the mercy of the burning sun and the deadly deep, they began a heart-stopping journey to find home. That sounds amazing and like I said, I love the beach, I love the ocean and the cover. Why does YA, not YA, why does middle grade get the best covers? Look at that. And the inside of this is like bright orange. And I love that they went for orange and not blue. So that's another one that is in my, like I don't know if you've noticed that a lot of these are like easy reads because <laughs> reading slump from hell. All right, the last physical book in this TBR is Other Minds, The Octopus and the Evolution of Intelligent Life by Peter Gottfried Smith. We know love. We know my love of octopuses. We know that I need to read this book so that I can get my master's in octopus science. So <laughs> basically, again, I, I, I just realized that I have a lot of uh, nonfiction like compared to normal, but who cares? I love nonfiction. This is about octopuses and intelligence and um, I love octopuses and I love intelligence, so what do you want me to say? This is beautiful. How, if, if anybody has been to Madrid in the middle of the summer, please let me know down below. And if you haven't, don't. It's a bad idea unless you're going to the beach. And there's no beaches in Madrid, so don't fucking come to Madrid in the middle of the summer. Go to Malaga or something. That being said, 
I do plan to get through some audiobooks because, you know, we gotta get through some of them. I don't know. Um, the first one is, uh, I actually have the physical book for this, but I can't find it. But I want to read Infinity Sun by Adam Silvera because even though it's gotten like really bad reviews, I really want to read it. Adam Silvera is Latinx and he writes stuff that I usually like, even though this book seems like nobody likes it. Maybe I'll like it and I'll tell you about it. So I want to read Infinity Sun. I also want to read Ocean's End by Madra Lund. This was in my previous month's TBR, but I didn't get to it because reading Slump from Hell. And the final book that I want to get to is The House on the Cerulean Sea. Girl, I'm just basically reading all of the ocean books this month. <laughs> I just realized everything is like ocean, monsoon, water. That, th that definitely tells me something about the things that I'm missing in my life. <laughs> But anyway, The House on the Cerulean Sea I picked because apparently it's like a feel-good fantasy about two men that uh, have magic and they run this magical school with potentially dangerous children and they fall in love. And girl, I just need a good, like, happy cry. I've been doing too much sad crying lately. We need a happy cry. So that's it. This was really disjointed and crazy, but you know, I am really glad to be filming again. I'm really happy to be here. I hope, oh my goodness, there's a ghost in my house. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the TBR. Let me know which of these books you're most excited for me to read and maybe I'll get to it first or not. Or maybe I won't read any of these books and I'll just pick up a manga or something. Who knows? But for now, Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for leaving comments. Thank you so much for everybody that on Twitter, um, you know, uh, when I posted about my uncle, you guys were amazing and amazing support. And um, thank you so much just for, for being here. Thank you for being here. And well, without further ado, I leave you with a reminder that I post every Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays, and that I will see you in another galaxy far far away thank you so much bye guys and yeah look i didn't forget to take a thumbnail this time because if you saw my videos last week i didn't take a thumbnail for any of those videos it was a mess when i was editing <laughs> bye